Now, my dear friends, our very own CEO of Neo was on a session where he dropped a massive bombshell when it comes to assisted driving. I mean, in the video that I'm showing you right there, this is a video where the Neo CEO was talking about uh, the primary function of the intelligent driving assistance systems, which he said this objective the, or the main objective of uh, assisted or autonomous driving it's uh, obviously to reduce the insurance uh, price onto uh, from customers that are owning cars. I mean, he said, look, the goal is to see get insurance to drop by 40 to 50% by 2025. And my dear friends, I'm here to tell you that, look, what he's saying, it might be possible because part of the reason why we pay high premiums onto insurance it's because of risks that is weighed in on our premiums. I mean, for both my cars, though insurance annually comes down, but I'm still paying a lot, man. I mean, if I'm to combine the two premiums that I'm paying for my cars, it's it's quite a lot, right? It can get me uh, even maybe a car. I don't know. I, I can pay a monthly installment or premium of a car, which is something that shows you the kind of an expense a car insurance is and hearing the neo ceo coming on this interview and highlighting or flagging this it makes me to be really really excited because if their goal is to cut insurance price or premiums by 40 50 percent simply means that you and me in the future are going to get it easy or it's going to be easier to afford maybe even some of the cars that we cannot go and buy because of the insurance of those cars are quite pricey. It is all thanks to Neo's technology or as driving assistance technology like NOP Plus, Neo World Model, that help the drivers to, of course, mitigate risks of uh, or mitigate accidents on the road because the time that the these systems take to identify risk uh, is uh, six times faster than how you and me can react to an accident or in a real life situation so it makes sense that the insurance premium of these insurance come down because of this because right now of course there is no need for you to worry about uh, uh, maybe being involved onto an accident many times you can even go buy the, a bigger car i remember when I, when I bought my first car, which was a Polo TSI, Volkswagen Polo TSI uh, 2015, uh, I was told that I should have started with a, with a second-hand car and not buy it brand new because I bought that car brand new, right? I was told I need, I need not to buy it brand new because uh, if I get involved into an accident, as not that with the experience that I have for driving, uh, guess what? It was going to mess my insurance and I'll forever pay high premiums. But uh, look, it got me. But you know what? I just said, you know what? I This is what the, that that is the car that I wanted by then. And I went for it. And look, till this day, I still hear people saying as a first time car buyer, you don't take or you even if you have got the budget to buy big cars, don't start with a big car because you will make mistakes. And I'm saying this because Right now, with what the, with the statement that the Neo CEO is saying is that it won't really matter in the future, even if you are to go buy the longest or the largest SUV as a first time, maybe a driver who has not been driving even for a month, you need not to worry because with the driving assistance technology, you should be able to maneuver, you should be able to uh, mitigate accident incident that could happen on the road provided that system is switched on which is absolutely great something that is exciting and uh, right now it got me thinking about the premiums you will know that obviously NOP plus does not come for free Neo is just that recently it has been giving it for free for three years but after three years if you still want that driving assistant feature you will have to pay for a monthly subscription. I just forgot how much it is. And looking at just this, I think it will be a very good revenue stream or income for Neo. Driving assisted, I mean, I mean, these driving assistance systems are not only going to help consumers into saving costs for insurance, but 
it's going to mitigate the accidents which ultimately are the ones that make the premiums to be so high which is something that is very very good so my dear friends i was very happy i was very excited when i read this or when i saw this from neo i mean it is something that flags or that shows us that look neo is in the right track and when you buy a neo car you are buying a car that is smart intelligent and with it you will be able to minimize the kind of accident that you will have or you may have or being involved in on the road which is very very important because we all don't buy cars to get involved onto an onto accidents but obviously we want our cars to last us for the longest period without accidents i mean just yesterday i was talking to somebody who had given a car to a wife or they gave a car to their wife and their wife got involved onto an accident that is and that was a very it was a quite expensive car and what that guy is worried about is number one because they've got two cars in the family one of the they will now have to share one car because this one will go to be repaired but i must say the car is still drivable but because it's it's a luxury brand in fact i can tell you it's a bmw 2 series convertible uh, it's a he, he feels like he cannot drive it like that and therefore it means that because of this driving a system and and because of that obviously the insurance are going to be also be impacted insurance their premiums might go up or higher because of that which if you were driving or if they were driving a new car rest assured what happened was not going to happen because neos technology will make you be aware of what is happening around the car and it would have been avoided if you are driving a new car but anyways putting it out there or i'm putting that scenario just to see how, what the kind of stress that comes i've been involved onto an accident once and i must say after the insurance paid my premiums even went higher right because i'm now considered as someone who's a bit riskier risky because i'm now considered as someone who's a who, who who's a bit risky right so we don't want to hear that but and at the same time we cannot live without this insurance because they guard on on things like a potential accident that could happen on a road and remember an accident is not only an accident when it's caused by you but someone can just come and hit you at the back hit you on the side and this is something that sometimes it's unavoidable right even with the driving assistance system uh, sometimes the, the the accidents are just unavoidable right but anyways let me end here let me not make this video too long tell me what you think about this i will see you on the next one though that is all from me and god bless you all